I don't know. It sounded like an engine crashing off the rails. But it's nearly 4.15 in the morning. There's no engine running at this time of night. I hate to admit it, guys, but for once, Diesel's right. I mean, Henry's not even due to take the Flying Kipper for another 45 minutes. Well, something crashed off the rails out there. Well, I think I know where it come from, so I'm going to investigate. Oh. My. God. Agatha? Agatha, wake up! Uh, uh, Agatha! Uh, Agatha! Uh, who is it? It's me, Jack. You need to come out here quickly. <sighs> Lights on. Agatha, come on, quick! <sighs> What is it, Jack? It's nearly 4.30 in the morning! What do you want? I'm so sorry to bother you at this time of night, Agatha, but it's urgent. I found a crashed engine at the nearby bend. What? Come with me and I'll show you. See? Oh my word! It's a radioactive engine! But how did it get here? I don't know! We better get him back on the rails and ask him later. Good idea. He seems to be a friendly engine. Yes, indeed. The question is, where did he come from? I don't know. Why don't we just ask him? Excuse me, Mike Fine Engine, but where did you come from? Hello? I asked you a simple question. Where did you come from? Ah, oh, he's not going to talk. Maybe he's still in a bit of shock, Jack. Let's give him time. We'll have him repaired and ready for work. But we'll be investigating the matter. We need to understand this engine's presence. Oh, he's quite a quiet fellow. Quite so. Let's give him some time. my fine engine? It's okay, we're not bad engines here. If you'd like to say something, let it out. Um, uh, uh, uh hi. My name's Robin. Nice to meet you, Robin. My name's Emily, the Sterling Single. Emily, the Sterling Single? Emily? Emily. I swear I've heard of an engine with that name before. Wait a minute! Emily? Robin? It's been so long! But what are you doing here? I thought you had been scrapped after the last time we met, since you were a very old engine. Well, I nearly was, Robin, but I was saved from scrap. But what are you doing here? Uh, well, you see, I thought I was going for scrap too, but then a private owner bought me and got me preserved, and I'm still here. Oh, I see. Well, either way... The other vengeance will be glad to meet you now that they know you can talk. Um, thank you, Emily.
I like this yard. You engines are all kind. Excuse me, but why are you called Robin? Oh, long story short, a robin built her nest in my bunker while I was having an overhaul. By the time my overhaul was completed, the robin and its chicks flew away from the nest. My driver gave me the name. Everyone teased me about it at first, but it soon stuck. Well, we think Robin is a lovely name. Indeed, it suits you dearly. But Robin, can we just ask, how did you crash off the line last night? Well, it was a long story, really, but I'll show you in the short way. I was running away from my old controller. You see, he was making my life a living hell. He thought I was a useless piece of scrap. I did everything in my power to please him, but he always scolded and looked me down. He later told me that after I was to take a night passenger train, I was going to be withdrawn and later sold for scrap. Luckily, I managed to get away from him last night, but I only wanted to find a better railway to live on. But then I was running so fast I didn't concentrate on where I was going, and then I came off that sharp bend last night. Oh dear, that's so sad, Robin. But you better be careful now, because that horrid manager might be coming after you. In fact, he's probably looking for you right now. Well, that's his tough luck, Edward. It's because I don't want you to ro worry now, Robin. Your manager is not going to take you back. Because I have bought you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. What work will I be doing on your railway? You will be working on the Fox Railway branch line with Thomas, Percy, Edward, Emily and Tornado. And I hope you will work hard and be a credit to me, because I am not strict to my engines like your old manager. I am a nice, kind lady who treats engines like a mother. Oh, that's wonderful, Agatha. And I promise I will work hard. And I'm sure the other engines will help me in the process. Thanks for arranging my train, Diesel. I must admit, you're really hard working for a Class 08 Diesel. Thank you, Robin. And I hope you do very well with your first passenger train of the day. Thanks, Diesel. And I want to be really useful, like you and all the other engines on the Fox Railway. And I'm glad, because I now have a manager who now n knows who how to look after steam engines and diesel engines the right way. Well, must be off. Toodle pip. Nice engine, that. It just goes to show that some steam engines are not all puffed up in the smoke box.